all of you hope you guys are great my name is Dolph Hussain in this video I will show you that how you can fix this horizontal problem on your website as you can see on my website I'm getting this side horizontal bar which decreases the user experience I don't want my website to look like this so in this video I will show you that if you having the same problem then how you can solve it by writing only two pieces of code sometime what's happened that when we use any page builder and when we customize our website using any page builders like Gutenberg, Elementor, only on those times we get this side horizontal. In this video I will show you that how you can fix it. So as you can see I am in my back end of my website, I am having the same problem. So if you are using Elementor Pro then it's very easy to do that. All you have to do, you have to click here and go to advanced and, and here you will get the option of custom CSS. But as you can see I am not using the Pro version. So in this video I will show you that how you can use it for free. And how where you have to put this code first go back to your wordpress dashboard and go to this appearance section and here you will find an option called customize so we have to put the css code into our theme so for that you have to just simply click on customize and wait let it load so here i am so the, i'm using ocean wp which is one of the best free theme which you can use it it's really light and it gives you a lot of customization options so you can have a look from here so here we get the option of CSS and custom JavaScript. So simply click here and here I have already written a lot of code for my website. So I will just go all the way down and here I'm going to write the code for fixing this problem. So this is the code you have to write. I will also provide the code in the description so you can easily copy and you can just write it. So simply first thing you have to do, you have to write HTML, then comma and then you have to type target body B O D Y. This and inside this first you have to set the overflow x so overflow property overflow x and I'm going to set the property to be hidden so I did hidden and and now I have to set the maximum width so max width is going to be 100% so 100% only this piece of code you have to write just give this comma and just update the page and now let me take you to my phone and show you so right now as you can see that we have successfully solved this problem so only these two pieces of code you have to write into your customized section of your theme if you are not using the Elementor Pro but if you are using Elementor Pro you can type and select the complete body and from there you can easily type the code so that's the easiest thing so this is how you can solve this side scrolling problem on your website. I hope you have found this tutorial valuable. So if you want to know anything else like this, write down in the comment section. I would love to help you with that. For the time being, have a great day. Bye-bye.